Hey, Playa, if you're watching this video, that can only mean one thing. Your crush knows you like him. So now what do you do? Don't worry. I'm going to walk you through step by step how to handle this situation so you could potentially date them and not have things end up being awkward. When you like someone, you sometimes walk that line of wanting them to never find out, keeping your feelings hidden forever, or just putting it out there, letting it be heard, getting that burden off of your chest. The problem though is that both of those scenarios rest on you making the decision to tell them, but what do you do when they just flat out find out? Hey, how's it going? Hey, do you have a crush on me? Well, why do you think that? I heard a rumor going around and your friend confirmed it and said it's true, so do you like me? Um. Uh, nice weather we're having, huh? Here's the thing. If your crush or anyone else flat out asks you if you like someone, the best thing you could do is to stand in your confidence and say, yeah, I have a crush on them and I want to get to know them better. Now that sounds incredibly scary, I know, but just think about the alternatives. If you say, no, I don't like you, you're ruining your chances, you're closing the door, you're showing them that you don't want to pursue them at all, which is not really what you want. But what if you say something like, I don't know? Well, that seems like a safe answer, right? Well, actually it's not. What you're really doing is missing out on an opportunity to convey that confidence. They're gonna think you're uncertain about your feelings, you don't really know what you wanna do or who you like, and they're just gonna totally end it there too. So what is it? Do you have a crush on me or not? You know what? Yeah, I do. I think you're really cool, I think you're really pretty, and I wanna get to know you better. So what are you doing on Friday? Something I commonly hear in the YouTube comments and on social media is that having your crush know how you feel is embarrassing. It feels like that veil is lifted and you're just bare and out there for all of them to see. And I totally get it. We're talking about something that matters here, your deep inner feelings. And having those out there can be fearful. You don't know if your crush is gonna mock you or laugh at you or just flat out reject you. But something you should know is that attraction is not a choice. We don't choose who we're attracted to. Sometimes you see someone and you think they're attractive or you have a conversation with them and you feel deeply connected with them. All in all, it's not your fault and you're not in the wrong and it's not bad or weird to have feelings. Everyone does. It's just that some people like to pretend like they don't. So if anyone tries to mock you, whether that's your friends, your classmates, or even your crush themselves, recognize that they're the ones being weird. They have feelings for people around them too. They just may not be bold enough or confident enough like you are to stand by them. Sometimes though, your crush may know that you like them, but never ever say anything. Now, you know that they know that you know that they know. The question is, what are you gonna do about it? Who's gonna make that first move? Often at times, if your crush already knows how you feel and they haven't flat out rejected you or made it known that they don't like you, they're waiting for you to make that move. They're waiting for you to talk to them, to ask them out, to show them some level of interest and to get it past that rumor stage. And that's why the need for you to act is now. The longer you wait, the more you allow doubt to settle in. They're gonna start to wonder, why isn't this person talking to me? Why haven't they messaged me? Why haven't they asked me out? Do they really like me? Is it just a rumor? And eh, now it's just awkward and weird whenever I'm around them. And the last thing you want is to miss that golden opportunity with them. I know it is incredibly scary to ask someone out, especially when they know how you feel and they're kind of waiting for it. But you have that confidence deep within you. You have what it takes to be somebody great. So take this chance, whether they know how you feel or don't, the choice is yours. So it's time to step up and make something happen. If you're still too nervous to ask them out and you don't really know where to begin, check out the videos over there on the screen now, where I'm going to walk you through how to start that first conversation, how to get things going, and eventually how to tell them how you feel. Check them out and I'll catch you next time. As always, love and peace.